and a very warm welcome to Bharat, our first time Frank Rausen Pereira. This is FRP Explains. Anish Kapoor, who is he? But he seems to have written a very strong article in The Guardian. Up until now, I didn't know who he was. Sorry for my ignorance, but yeah. Uh, I don't know what his standing is, but looking at his article, it doesn't, doesn't look like he's very good at what he does. Because most of his comparisons that he has made seem to be wrong. I could be wrong as well. I am no expert in this field. But I am going by my good eyesight and what I have seen so far. As a child, he went all over the place looking at great Mughal monuments. Because that was the thing to do. That was what travel was all about. As we grow older, we grew a little wiser as well. And got to understand things a little better. Now this man, Anish Kapoor, has said that the parliament building is inspired by Mughals. And Edward Lutyens was inspired by Mughal style architecture. I have seen several Mughal monuments. I don't see a single monument that looks anything close to what the parliament building looks like. Again, Going just by my good eyesight and nothing else, I am making this explanation and making this comparison. I have seen the Chausat Yogini temple in Morena, Madhya Pradesh, which was built by the uh, Kachwa dynasty in 1055, between 1055 and 1075. And it clearly looks like the parliament building was inspired by this small little shrine on top of a hill 40 kilometers away from Gwalior in Pradesh. For those of you who haven't seen it and do not know about it, here's a closer look at the Chausat Yogini temple that sits atop a single hill which is 100 feet in height. An inscription found in 1373 I think talks about how this particular temple was built by uh, a Kachwa king in the in between 10,055 and 10,075. Can you see the similarity now? Don't they look so similar? The parliament building and uh, the Chausat Yogini temple. So isn't it safe to assume that the parliament building is inspired by the Chausat Yogini temple in Morena? You decide. I'm not going to say anything more. You know, so this is what this person has said. He has also spoken about the grand roadways of the Mughals. Let's take the grandest structure of the Mughals in India, the Taj Mahal. It's a wonderful structure. It's a beautiful structure. It's a grand structure. There is no doubt about it. Where are the grand roadways? But there are only gullies leading up to the Taj Mahal. Nothing else. I've gone there many, at least 12 times over the last eight years. I have not found a grand roadway anywhere close to the Taj Mahal. Again, I'm only letting my eyesight speak. He's comparing the Prime Minister of India with Kim Jong-un and supporters of Modi he calls as Talibanis. He is also comparing the current government that we have in India as the Taliban. Hindu Taliban is what he is calling it. Isn't it an insult to us Indians? You may hate Modi. I'm not saying you, you, you like Modi or you like the Prime Minister or you like his practices and like what he says. He's not bathed in milk. It's not like he hasn't done anything wrong. There have been several failures. Over the years there have been. There have been several controversies as well. But just have a look at this article once. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. Take a look at this article and tell me if you can use this kind of language. That's all I have to say. Even Modi baiters will agree with me that this kind of language cannot be used. And by a foreigner, who's not even by an Indian, okay, you can critically, uh, you can be critical and analyze and, you know, criticize the government, criticize the prime minister for everything that has gone wrong. I have done so myself because of the way the second wave of the pandemic has been handled. It has been an utter failure. But is this the kind of language that you use? Just have a look. Nothing more to do. So these are the kind of things that this person is saying and without really knowing anything, I don't know how these people every day there is one new item number that comes up that says something like this. 
if you cannot make an informed opinion about anything, it's okay to say, I don't know anything about it. It's fine. I don't know anything about it, but I can make an informed opinion because of what I have seen. What I see is what I believe. This is what is going around. So don't worry, sir. Anish Kapoor. The building is not going to be raised as you have written in the article. The government has very categorically said that the building will be converted into a museum. So Edward Lutian stamp of authority is going to exist. It's safe. You don't have to come and bat for him. You don't have to come and, uh, you know, talk so much for him. His legacy is safe. The building is going to stay. That is the assurance that we've given. You can sleep sound now. Don't use words like, you know, third grade. It shows your third grade mindset. I'm not saying this. You have said it. That's why I'm saying this. So please refrain from making such comments because it shows India in very poor light. And it is because of articles like yours that the world thinks India is a horrible place. It is not. It's a vibrant democracy. 200 million Muslims are not unsafe here. Say what you said about the Prime Minister of India. If you have the guts, say it about Xi Jinping and the Uyghur Muslims. Say something about uh, the Arab leaders. Let's see what happens to you. Remember Jamal Khashoggi in Saudi Arabia. That's all I have to say. That's it on this edition of FRP Explains. For those of you who like the content, you may like the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon followed by all notifications. If you would like to come forward and make a contribution, you may do so by using these UPI IDs. A small contribution that you make will go a long way in us bringing you this content. Also, do let us know what you think about the content and about this issue. Leave your comments, suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. That's it from me. See you again next time. Thank you.